value of the data stored here. Shepard. Elusive man. Fascinating race, the Protheans. They left all this for us to discover, but we squandered it. The Alliance has known about the Archives for more than 30 years. And what have they done with it? What do you want? What I've always wanted. The data in these artifacts holds the key to solving the Reaper threat. I've seen your solution. Your people are turned into monsters. Hardly. They're being improved. Improved? That's what separates us, Shepard. Where you see a means to destroy, I see a way to control, to dominate and harness the Reaper's power. Imagine how strong humanity would be if we controlled them. With that data, I'll rid the galaxy of those machines once and for all. Your vision is pathetically limited. You were a tool, an agent with a singular purpose. And despite our differences, you were relatively successful. But like the rest of the relics in this place, your time is over. Enough talk. Liara? Don't interfere with my plan, Shepard. 
I won't warn you again. Go to hell. Shepard. What? The data, it's not here. It's being erased. Goodbye, Shepard. Damn it! How's he doing it? It's local. Someone's uploading the information. Hey! Step away from the console. Now!
Ashley needs medical attention. We have to leave the soul system. I know. The Citadel is our best chance. We can find help there. Get us to the Citadel, Joker. Roger that. Hold on, Ash. See what you and Edie can learn from that thing. Commander, I'm receiving a signal over the secondary QEC. I believe it's Admiral Hackett. Patch me through. I'll forward it to the call room. Edie, can you clear this up? I'll do my best. Did you get to the archives? I was there. So was the elusive man. I was worried Cerberus might try something. Did you get the data? Most of it. He downloaded some before I could stop him. Edie and Liara are analyzing what we recovered. What have you learned? Was it worth the effort? Preliminary evidence suggests the data is a blueprint for a Prothean device. Device? A weapon, massive in size and scope, that's capable of unquantifiable levels of destruction. Send me the data. We'll do our own analysis. If Liara's instincts are right, this might be the key to stopping the Reapers. I hope so. Lieutenant Commander Williams was critically wounded. We're Sorry to hear that, Shepard. But we both know this is just the beginning. Talk to the Council, show them what you found. With luck, they'll give you all the support we need. And if they don't? Do whatever it takes to get them on board. I'll be in touch soon. Hack it out. Shepard? Edie is extracting data from the Cerberus machine. We'll have details to present to the Council by the time we reach the Citadel. And Lieutenant Commander Williams? I've done what I can for her. She needs proper medical attention soon. The Admiral's right. It's going to get worse, isn't it? Unless we stop the Reapers, yeah. I've looked at the data. This weapon could be the answer, if we can build it. I get the sense you don't quite believe it, though. I'm a soldier. I should be back on Earth fighting, not wasting my time with this. If it's going to work, we need you. Shepard. Isn't it worth trying, at least? I'm gonna check on Ashley and James. Make sure we're ready to present our findings to the Council. I'm sure the Council will see the need to help. It'll be a hell of a short war if they don't. Barely got a pulse here. Move him out. Where are you taking her? Where to Memorial. Best care in the Citadel. We're not going with? We need to see the Council. Right. Looks like they might be coming to see you. Commander Shepard. Got word you were arriving. Captain Bailey, good to see you again. Yeah, uh, you too. Though it's Commander now. Congratulations. Uh, thanks. 
Now half my job is dealing with political bullshit and escorting dignitaries around. No offense. None taken. So you're here to bring us to the Council? I'm here to tell you the Council is expecting you, but they are dealing with their own problems with the war and everything. Uh, they apologize for the inconvenience and blah, 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 blah. Meet them here at Adina's office. They'll be ready soon enough. All right. You might have time to go by the medical center if you want to check on progress over there. Meeting with the Council is our top priority. I'll head up to Adina's office now. Meet you there. One of my men can show you the way. You? I'm just a tourist today. I'll try not to get in any trouble. Commander, we've got a situation in the embassy quarters. We could use your help. Hmm. I'll be right there. The other half of my job. I'll see you around, Shepard. No doubt. <laughs> Shepard escaped. She did, didn't she? So why would she be here unless she's seeing the council? Ma'am, I can't talk about that. You don't have to. Commander Shepard! What's going on here? Commander, just who I was looking for. Diana Allers, Alliance News Network. I think we can help each other. I don't have the greatest track record with reporters. I know, and it hasn't exactly endured you to a galactic audience. But that can change. I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. We're carried on just about all council planets. My producers want me embedded on a human ship, and I want that ship to be the Normandy. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing room, and this war needs to be won. I've got Alliance security clearance and operate without a crew. You get veto power over the segments I file. Can you handle an arrangement like that, or do I keep looking? You're a reporter. I command a stealth ship. The two don't mix. Well, I guess you'll have to win support on your own then. Commander, just who I was. I don't have the greatest track. I know, and it I'm a military reporter with a show called Battle Space. My producers want me embedded on. Why would I want that? Wars can be won or lost in the editing. I've got Alliance security clearance. Can you handle an arrangement like that? Or do I keep looking? Tell your producers yes for now. We'll see how it works out. Report to the ship as soon as possible. Any questions? How much gear can I bring? One footlocker. Aye, aye, Commander. Ilium is under attack. While the Leosari colony is across the galaxy from Palavin and Earth, the invading force is According to the Council, these galaxy wide attacks are part of a massive and organized invasion plan. Commander Shepard, please select a destination. One moment, please. Now a 
arriving at Presidium Embassy. Early reports indicate that Earth has fallen to the same enemy force that attacked Batarian space. Please tell the Primacy that the Vol Protectorate wishes to assist with the Alliance project. We had a Prothean obelisk that might have helped. Sadly, it was lost in the Shrike Abyss. Ilium is under attack. Although the Asari colony is across the galaxy from Paladin and Earth, the invading force appears to be the same that attacked those planets. Commander, Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint, created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? It sure as hell beats standing around and arguing about it. And while I haven't always agreed with Udina, he's right about this. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. They're a bunch of self-concerned jackasses, Shepard. We may have a spot on the Council, but humanity will always be considered second-rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the War Summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. 
The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. I told you this would happen, and you did nothing. We can argue the past later, if you like. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavan's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. There is one other thing. The Council has agreed to reinstate your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Good day. Well, that went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Council, you saved it. Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of 11 billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. You're a Citadel counselor. With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither right now. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing. And with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all they're worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply Hackett's fleet. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. I should go. I'll be here.
There is no anti-humanity conspiracy here, Ms. Al Jalani. The Council's simply not granting interviews at this time. My viewers are going to know that CSEC and the Council are denying them access. Listen, lady, you think I like playing gatekeeper between the paparazzi and the politicians? I don't have time to babysit them, and I'm not here to hold your hand. Well, I'm camping out until I'm granted an audience. Fine. I hope you brought a sleeping bag. Commander Shepard? Commander, humanity has questions. Damn press. See, so you're keeping the peace. Yeah, I feel like a glorified doorman. Most people would see it as a move up. Wedged in here with all the stuffed shirts? I'd rather be back down on the streets. I appreciate the higher pay grade, but I'm not a political creature. If you didn't want to be up, to why'd you accept? <laughs> you don't say no to Councillor Udina. Well, maybe you would, but I gotta live here. I know, Squeaky Wheel gets the oil, but I didn't lobby for a promotion like some other officers. I'm not even sure why he picked me. I never know with politicians. I hate political BS. Politicians are the weeds of the galaxy. <laughs> if that was a bumper sticker, I'd stick it right here on my desk. <laughs> it's killing me about Earth. You and me both. I haven't been back in years. Now I may never. If this ain't the end of days, it's pretty damn close. Commander Shepard, Kalisa Bint seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Not this time, you military. Ugh! You're angry, I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth. Not answer your questions. Stay down. According to the Council, these galaxy-wide attacks are part of a massive and organized invasion plan. Galaxy-wide attacks are part of a massive and or- Commander Shepard, Kalisa Bint seen in Al Jalani. Isn't it true that you were on Earth when the Reapers attacked? How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? The same thing I've been doing for the past three years. Find a way to stop the Reapers. Get some help, Kalisa. I have work to do. The Council called the invaders Reapers, the same term once used by a disgraced Commander Shepard to refer to a theoretical enemy. Commander Shepard, how do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? 
Is that the best we can expect from the Alliance? What about all the people suffering? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything we can. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying, but I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. You may be a violent thug, but I'm glad you're on our side. The Council called the invaders Reapers, the same term once used by a disgraced Commander Shepard to refer to a theoretical enemy. Galaxy-wide attacks are possible. Commander Shepard, how do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best... I've had enough of your tabloid journalism. Not this time, you mili... Ugh! You're angry. I get that. But I came here to get help for Earth. Not answer your questions. Stay down. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping. Something like that? <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall one by one if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're gonna have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm gonna head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. The Alliance military has abandoned the Hades Gamma Cluster to incoming Reaper forces. Recent intel suggests that the entire Batarian hegemony has been destroyed by an unknown force. Welcome, Commander Shepard. Please select one day. moment, please. at Huerta Memorial Hospital.
Welcome to Serta. Serta is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? Thank you for shopping. Patient stable for now. That was touch and go. Good work, Dr. Freilich. Narrow splints still the best course of action. I'll see if we have the required spatial bindings. Meet you back here. Got pretty banged up there, Williams. Had me worried. I just wanted to check in on you. See how you're doing. Reporting for duty ASAP, you hear me, soldier? You need anything, Doc, let me know. Okay, Ash. You take care. I'll see you soon. Shepard, there you are. Dr. Chakwas, you're here? I'm working at an Alliance R&D lab down in Shouter Wards, coordinating closely with Admiral Hackett. I heard you escaped Earth in the Normandy, and that someone was critically injured. I came as fast as I could. We had a run-in with the Cerberus Synthetic on Mars. Ashley took the worst of it. How is she doing? Very well, all things considered. I'm impressed with Lieutenant Commander Williams' resilience, as well as Dr. Michelle's expertise. I wish I could have been there to help on Mars. Your place is in Normandy's med bay. 
Not some lab. I couldn't agree more. You say the word, and I'm with you. The Normandy wouldn't be the same without you, Doctor. Get your things. Docking bay D-24. Yes, Commander. And Don't thank me so soon. And I'd be surprised if he's been remembering his medication. According to the Council, these galaxy-wide attacks are part of a massive and organized invasion plan. The Council called the invaders Reapers, the same term once used by a disgraced Commander Shepard to refer to a theoretical enemy. The Alliance military. Commander Shepard, good to see you. Dr. Michel? Because of you, I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't dealt with Fist and his thugs. Now I'm med physician in the Presidium Clinic. You gave me this chance. I assume you're here about Lieutenant Commander Williams? How is Ashley doing? The aid trauma. These types of... You can go see her if you... Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Recent intel suggests that the entire Batarian hegemony has been destroyed by an unknown force. Early reports indicate that Earth has fallen to the same enemy force that attacked Batarian space. Welcome. Commander Shepard. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. Yara, I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support. I know. Are you all right? Just shaking off some sleep. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist. Oh, uh, I, I beg you. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard. I'm Com Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the... There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. I need the Normandy functional. 
What exactly have you done to my ship? We upgraded communications and removed most of the Cerberus tech, Commander. Meaning? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he... for as long as you need me, that is. They only sent me here to oversee the retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize for the deception. Thanks, Edie. And I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive. <laughs> Your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the... In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you... You can also check your messages at your private terminal. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. Uh, and there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Commander, Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. The Council's been a pain in my ass from day one. I'm done with them. Then what's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. You can count on it, sir. It's not just me, it's everyone back on Earth. Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces have to hold out until we deal with the enemy. I understand, Admiral. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Commander, come to check on your new recruit? Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. We're in the middle of a war, Specialist. We've got bigger problems than finding a toothbrush. Understood, Commander. And to be clear, I'm happy to be here. If I can help with the comm system and get you the intel you need to win this war, I'll have done more than I ever did in the lab. Was there anything else? Carry on, Specialist.
believe the council won't help. Come on, Sierra. If Thessia was lost and Earth hasn't been touched yet, we can be damn sure we'd be guarding our own border. Commander, the... Lines has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. Commander? Come to check on your new recruit? Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearing. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is... Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, was there anything else? Carry on, special. Can I help you, Commander? I do end up in the middle. My family didn't have money for you. I served my... Al although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. I'm surprised you're worried. Oh, being here on the Normandy. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way. You worked in alliance? Yes. You and then networking them. It's an exciting challenge. Um, Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the... Even if that freedom has its share of danger. If I recall correctly, you grew up on Mindwar. Given what happened to Earth, I don't think we can count on anywhere being safe right now. Quite true, Commander. Carry on, Specialist. something. Signal confirmed. Signal confirmed.
I found something. Evasion successful. Signal confirmed. Reapers eluded. I found something. I found something. found something. found something.
faster than light jump successful. Signal confirmed. Signal confirmed. something.
Signal confirmed. Evasion successful. Eden Prime. This is where it all began. Where the Prothean Beacon gave you the vision that warned us about the Reapers. And where you went up against Saren and the Geth for the first time, no? Yes. And now, with Cerberus here, Eden Prime's colonists are under attack again. We'll avenge the people of Eden Prime, but our first priority has to be whatever Cerberus has found. Understood. Do you have any idea what Cerberus found? The Alliance didn't get any specifics about what Cerberus has uncovered. But whatever it is, it's better off with us than with Cerberus. I'm bringing you in as close to the dig site as I can. No way we'll avoid detection, but you should have a few minutes. Understood. All right, everyone. Get ready to move.
With luck, we can get to the dig site before Cerberus knows we're here. No sign of survivors. Come on, we need to find the dig site. This was a beautiful colony once. They came back after the Geth attack. They'll come back from this. They rebuilt Mendoir. It wasn't the same. They'll never forget. All we can hope is that they grow stronger for it. Shepard, this Cerberus data could help the colonists still alive on other parts of Eden Prime. How? I can get this intel to Eden Prime's resistance. Maybe it will help them fight back against Cerberus. Look at that. Bits of Prothean tech sticking out of the ground like an old bone. Hey, Liara, you ever find dinosaurs while you're digging around? No. Dinosaurs and other fossils would be paleontology. I'm an archaeologist. I study artifacts left by sapien species. The two fields are completely different, and... Oh, you were joking. Hey, I just like dinosaurs. There. That's the elevator that leads down into the dig site. Goddess, that doesn't seem possible. It's not a Prothean artifact, it's... A Prothean? You mean a collector? Those things the Reapers turned the Protheans into? No, an original, unmodified Prothean, who's still alive. You're right. That doesn't sound possible. You saw Prothean stasis chambers in the Archives on Ilos. The only reason those failed was a lack of power. Cerberus found this in an underground bunker. It still has power. He's been in stasis for the past 50,000 years, waiting for us. Think of what we could learn. Whatever he is, he's better with us than with Cerberus. Open the pod. Of course. Ah, <sighs> Cerberus damaged the life pod when they excavated it. The life signs are unstable. Then let's get him out of there. No, breaking open the pod would kill him. We have to find the command signal that ends the stasis mode. We also need to figure out how to physically open the pod without doing more damage. Cerberus took over the labs nearby to research what they found at the dig site. That's likely our best bet. Heads up! Let's get moving before more of them come back.
intel to help the colonists. The more we find, the better chance they'll have. found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to find the stasis deactivation signal. Return to dark space. Then we will rise, a million strong. For the Empire. For the Empire. Get to your stasis port. Victory. Broadcast the stasis readiness signal to all life pods. And the refugees who have yet to reach the bunker. Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. the signal. You understood that? You didn't? No. All I saw was static. Cerberus was trying to make sense of it without success. The Prothean cipher you received on Pharos, it lets you see the images as a Prothean would, and understand their language. Whatever it does, I saw the video, and the signal they used. Perfect. Then we just need to figure out how to physically open the pod.
They were gunned down while having drinks and watching the game. Son of a bitch, this was somebody's home. found footage of the Protheans. Cerberus is studying it to figure out how to physically open the pod. How many have we lost? Reaper forces have destroyed approximately 300,000 life pods. that one too? Yes. Excellent. Then we have everything we need to open the pod.
They've retracted the bridge. We have to find another way across. I'm transmitting the signal. Perfect. It'll take a few moments for the life pod to process it. Lots of bogeys inbound, Commander. And we'll have to hold this position. We've got a second to catch our breath. Wish my corner man was here. I could use an ice pack. Has the life pod... Ended stasis mode. If anybody's low, there's a Cerberus supply cache in the building next door. I can lay down a singularity to block enemy access.
You can open the life pod now. take him some time to fully regain consciousness. Careful, he's confused. Remember, it's been 50,000 years for us, but for him, it's only been... A few minutes! No, the bunker is falling. There is no other option. There are pods online! Those soldiers are still alive! Their sacrifice will be honored in the coming Empire. Prepare a neutron bombardment. Get to your life pod now! Just you. <clears throat> you can understand me? Yes. Now that I have read your physiology, your nervous system, enough to understand your language. So you were reading me while I was seeing... Our last moments. Our failure. I saw what happened to your people. I know you must be grieving. But they died 50,000 years ago. My people are dying right now. Shepard, whatever you did got Cerberus interested. Asari. Human. I am surrounded by primitives. It's not safe here. Will you join us? You fight the Reapers? Yes. Then we will see. Correct, Admiral. But he's not quite what we expected. Commander, our scientists barely understand what they need to do here. If the Prothean can help us construct this device, we need his cooperation. Understood, Admiral. We're losing colonies faster than we can evacuate. We've never seen a force like the Reapers. He has, Admiral. Can he help us? I intend to find out. Good. Cerberus slipped up and gave us a new weapon. Don't let it go to waste. Hack it out. Shepard, I need you down in the port cargo hold. It's about our new guest. I'm on my way.
What's the problem? I've tried to make the room more accommodating. Apologies, but... Doctor. Contact protocol with a new species. Assume hostility. We had to dust off the regulations. But he's not new. I've spent my life studying Protheans. We've never met one before. Nothing wrong with playing it safe. Should we be worried? That depends on you. I can sense fear in you. Anxiety and distress. The Reapers are winning. What do you mean, you sense? All life provides clues for those who can read them. It is in your cells, your DNA. Experience is a biological marker. Then what exactly did I experience back on Eden Prime? That was a hell of a flashback. The battle left its own mark on me. I communicated this to you. It can work both ways. Like your beacons? Yes. Which... saw it all. Our destruction. Our warnings. Why won't they heed it? Why didn't you prepare for the Reapers, human? It's Commander. And nobody could understand your warnings. The beacon nearly killed me. <sighs> then communication is still primitive in this cycle. We pieced together what we could, and used it to stop a Reaper invasion three years ago. Then the extinction was delayed. Now we have your plans for the device. We're going to build it. Device? The weapon your people were working on. I'd hoped you could tell us how to finish it. We never finished it. It was too late. Then I take it you don't know anything about the Catalyst? No. I was a soldier, not a scientist. Skilled in one art, killing. What was your mission? Among my people, there were avatars of many traits. Bravery, strength, cunning. A single exemplar for each. Which are you? The embodiment of vengeance. I am the anger of a dead people. Demanding blood be spilled for the blood we lost. Only when the last Reaper has been destroyed will my purpose be fulfilled. I have no other reason to exist. Those who share my purpose become allies. Those who do not become casualties. Then I'd say you found an ally. The goal of this ship is to wipe the Reapers from existence. But how far are you willing to go to achieve that goal? Lies are easy to detect, but you seem to be telling the truth, Commander. For now. We found this at the dig site. I assume it belongs to you. It is a memory shard. Could it help us with the device? No. It contains only pain. But I will help you fight. And the last thing the Reapers hear before they die... ...will be the last voice of the Protheans, sending them to their grave. If you don't mind, I have a few more questions I'd like to ask. Here it comes. I've written over a dozen studies on your species. I've published in several journals that... Amusing. Asari have finally mastered writing. I'm sorry? Never mind. What do you wish to know? 
We've never seen a species. It was common among my people. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in sex. That sounds very useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the- Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So, could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation, the DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. Back on Eden Prime... The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was... So more of you were supposed to survive into this cycle? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you, I think. What can you tell us about your- Many of the details, those that faced the Reapers, there were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. Several years ago, we found a pro- During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had- If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Yes, Vigil said they wiped all traces of themselves from the records so the Reapers couldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No. But they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. It must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. I'm happy to say our cycle is different. Most races cooperate, but they still remain unique. Then it may be your only hope. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. Entire worlds were- That must have cost you in the long run. Yes then turned against us. But there was no choice. Thank you for talking with me. Oh? To discover the most- There's also the Solarians. The lizard people evolved? I believe they're amphibian. They used to eat flies? Commander, you may count on me. I am known as Javik, though I still need time to recover. The shock has not worn off yet. I understand. This must be a hell of an experience for you. You mean the 
biggest story in 50,000 years that I can in no way talk about? Say, yeah, I've seen him. Just wondering. How's your new assignment working out, Allers? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for, exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Tell people what's really happening on Earth. I can do this, Commander. Thank you. 